Hey, you're watching WND TV. I'm Michael Thompson. We're in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, at the Nashville Just Broadcasters 2015 conference at Opryland Hotel. And I'm here with two, uh, two probably the most sought after guests at this entire event. David and Jason Benham, the twins who you know very well from uh, their, I, I think it's the best way to describe you guys, cultural war victims of uh, 2014. <laughs> we're actually the guys that got fired on Facebook. That's who we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we like to tell people we're not victims, but we are definitely in the culture war because God loves culture and he wants Christians to be salt and light in culture. Well, it's funny you mention that because WND a couple years ago founded the 9-11 Day of Prayer and Repentance and you guys, you guys went through an event that most people couldn't even imagine going through. Talk to me about how the power of prayer was an aid to both of you gentlemen and your families during a time when you guys became uh, public enemy number one from this liberal order that tries to stamp out Christianity any way they can. Absolutely. I, I would say, first of all, boldness apart from brokenness makes a bully on both sides. And so getting alone with God Almighty down in humble repentance when you stand up from that, God fills you with a power you can't have otherwise. And so we were prayed up and we were repented up and we felt that brokenness and then God was able to be bold through us. So boldness apart from brokenness makes a bully. Well, you know, when you squeeze a grape or you squeeze a sponge, what's on the inside is going to come out. So our lives bathed in prayer and time with the Lord Jesus and His Word, that's the key. When the heat turned up and we started getting squeezed, only by God's grace did the Holy Spirit come out. Well, you know, it's interesting you guys talk about that, what happened, but prayer has been a large part of your guys' life. I mean, this wasn't something that uh, you, had to, you had to turn to. This is something you've always been turning to. Oh, absolutely. Our dad modeled it for us for when we were kids. There's not been a time when we were living in our, under our dad's roof that we woke up in the morning and didn't see him either on his knees in front of the ottoman of our couch or sitting on his little ugly green stool in the kitchen reading his Bible. That was put into us at a very young age, and we saw our dad going after Jesus every single morning. And, and even Jesus himself says, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees the father doing. And if Jesus himself says that he can't do anything on his own and he lived a perfect life, how much more can you or I do except through the power of prayer and getting in touch with our creator? Yeah, I mean... Um, Ditto. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I think that was great. Whatever he just said, yay I and agree. amen. <laughs> I've got to ask, you guys, are, uh, you guys are in your late 30s. Uh, talk to me about your experience on 9-11. Where were you guys? What do you remember? I mean, for most people, it's a date. I mean, it's, it's almost been 14 years since the attacks in our country uh, by Islamic radicalism. Uh, talk to me about that day and, 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 and how do you reflect on it even to today? Well, go ahead, you go I'll, first. I'll start with that. Um, I remember I was, I was in the minor leagues and uh, it was in the off season. It was September the 11th and um, I was laying hardwood floor in Fort Myers, Florida, which is where the Red Sox minicamp is. And uh, I remember watching it on television and my heart just broke. And, but then I also felt a righteous anger come over me. It's like, how on earth could people attack our nation like this? And then you remember when they started uh, celebrating in Pakistan and you saw those people with the American flag throwing it on the ground? Boy, my heart was pounding inside of me. You know, on the 10th anniversary of 9-11, Jason and I, we went to New York City. And I remember watching uh, radical Muslims marching through our streets screaming Allah Akbar. And I remember I stepped in the middle of the street and I began to proclaim the gospel and let them know that that stuff's not welcome in our nation. I ended up getting in trouble for that on radio, well, but that was one <laughs> of the things that Right, wa right Wing Watch had, had pulled out was some comments he had made during that celebration where they were saying, you know, Allah conquers everything and David stood up and boldly proclaimed, no, he does not. And so that's where we got the label that we're anti-Muslim. Which we're not anti-Muslim. I mean, we love individuals and especially peace-loving Muslims, but I am anti any idea that would seek to take our freedoms away and take the lives of innocent people, especially anybody that would want to silence biblical Christianity. Guys, to learn more about 9-11 Day of Prayer, go to www.911dayofprayer.org. And more importantly, learn more about uh, David and Jason Benham, what they're up to. Where, do they, where can people find out what you guys are up to? We've got BenhamBrothers.com or our book title, whateverthecost.com.